hey, I'm going to give you an admonishment before we even start here because I see what's happening. First thing, my channel is never dull. That's right. Um, I'm going to put that one aside because I see you all coveting my coffee cans. You see them all? You see my coffee can jigs for making coffee can guitars? You see them? I know that some of you are still in utter shock and disamazement over the fact that I can take one of these and turn it into one of these. Well, believe it. And if you still don't believe it, I'm going to give you right up there, there's an eye popping up. Don't waste your time till the end of the episode. Waste your time after you wasted your time watching this episode. But anyway, don't waste your time by clicking on the middle. Get to it at the end. But there's a playlist up there of how you take one of these and turn it into one of these. Okay, back to reality. Wink, wink. If you look real close and pay attention to the pattern, my friends say that I'm like that dude in a beautiful mind, but there's a pattern here. As soon as I figure it out, I might share it with you, but see if you can, but there's something missing up here. Do you know what it is? Well, do you punk? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's a Folgers can. You see, there's every kind of can, but there is no Folgers can. And uh, I only had one Folgers can, and I really liked it. Do you know why? Hey, do you remember that woman that used to be on the Folgers commercials, Mrs. Olson? Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, you remember, right? You don't? Man, you need to get out more. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I knew, like, in 1964, when I was four years old, I'm looking good for that, huh? Surprise. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um, in 1964, I knew, when I saw Mrs. Olsen on television, black and white television, I was like, yeah, that right there is it, son. Yeah, she would do this thing, like, mountain groan, and she would put her hands up over her head like this. Oh, man, hot. I'm telling you what, well, I mean, she had this like Austrian accent or something mysterious like that going on, and she had the, the Martha Washington hairstyle. Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, I just happen to have this picture. You see what I mean? And look, it's got a 1964 nickel from when I first heard about and discovered Mrs. Olsen, but is that not it or what? Um, you see the hair? Yeah, it, Mrs. Olsen is hot, I'm telling you. So, um, but I gave away the coffee can I had. It kind of looked like that one right there in this picture I have. Anyway, I gave that coffee can away um, and I gave it to a dude named Troy Murrah from, well, he hangs out at a restaurant and I made him a guitar out of it and I gave it to him. Um, and, um, and so I lost my remnant of Mrs. Olson. I'm going to give you a link to Troy Murrah playing the only Folgers coffee can I ever had. And, uh, and his partner Tyler on playing drums on something. I don't even know what it is. Anyway, I'm going to close this episode out, uh, by giving you uh, a reminder to give me a like and uh, subscribe and uh, I'm going to catch up with Mrs. Olson here. Hey, I almost forgot. Um, I have an admonishment. I mean, Earl Lube Pace, what is it I don't do for you? When are you going to finally realize that? I mean, I put you literally right on top of Mrs. Olson. What else can I do for you? Um, and, and you, Troy Murrah and Restaurant, you really need to load this song up that we're fixing to hear on Bandcamp because when people hear it right now, they're going to be like, dude, that's the most awesome thing I ever heard. Where can I get it? So as soon as you decide 
that you're going to take these people's money, I will put a link below. And then finally, on a more positive note, this is a monument to the ultimate stack master, Robert Reynolds. Robert Reynolds, you are it, dude. You're not Mrs. Olsen, thank God, but you're pretty much it. All right, now let's hear this song, and I will see you next time. Trust me. The end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.